challenge number two is to fish. We're not fisher people. And to catch it and eat it. I'm Kevin. And I'm Stacy. We love adventures. And making the most out of every moment we are blessed with. Our motto is to be free. And make the ordinary extraordinary. So join us on our adventures. So we headed to Cape Lookout. For an extraordinary adventure. We took a ferry to a secluded island. And we set up camp right on the beach. We challenged ourselves to try some new things. And our second challenge. Living off the land. Made us fishermen for the week. Let's see how it's coming along so far, getting ready for the fishing. Kevin's been watching YouTube videos and learning. Yeah, if I can get this untangled, it's gonna be great. These are some pompano rigs that I ordered on Amazon. So we really don't know what we're fishing for. We're just gonna fish. Here we are. We are going to try our hand at fishing in the Outer Banks. We've been watching videos. We want to catch something and then we're going to prepare it. Wish us luck. We really learned a lot about fishing at Cape Lookout while we were there. Fishing is actually one of the most popular activities on Cape Lookout and can be done all year round but the best times are in the fall and late spring. We fished using pompano rigs with two hooks and a three ounce sinker. For bait, we used squid on the bottom hook and fake bloodworms on the top hook. He caught a fish. If it wasn't a fish that we were going to eat, I wanted us to make sure we got it back in the water ASAP. It was a mad rush to figure out what kind of fish it was. Luckily, we came prepared with a fish chart and we were able to figure it out along with the regulation. So part of our challenge was living off the ocean. So we caught a fish, well, Kevin caught a fish, and now we are going to prepare it and eat it. I played the fish the other night and uh, followed the instructions off of YouTube because I've never caught a red drum before and wanted to make sure I cleaned it and prepared it correctly. So it's been filleted and cut into chunks and then uh, Chef Madame uh, Dutal Stacy Benson is going to uh, take us through the cooking process. I'm laying out these chunks of fish and I'm feeling for, for some bones and I can occasionally feel some bones here. So I'm going to try to make sure that I get those bones out. I'm gonna take a stab in saying that the reason red drum fish is called red drum fish is because the meat has some red on it. So if you leave the skin on, it's called cooking it on the half shell. We did not leave the skin on. So I'm gonna put this on medium because what I read is that it's good to be done on medium and I'm gonna put some oil in the pan. I'm gonna add some butter too. But, whoa, this butter is melty out here in the heat. Put some butter in there, so we'll let that heat up while I season the fish. I've got some smoked paprika, pepper, and lemon peel that I had, and some lemon pepper seasoning, and some salt and pepper. What I'm gonna do first is lay this out. So fresh. I don't know if we've ever had such fresh fish. Sprinkle on some seasoning. on one side and then three to four minutes on the other side. Okay, 
great it's tender. Good try. But it's delicious. Really good. Super good. Mmm. Yeah. I love it. Tender. It's a very white, like good white meat. What do you think? Mm -hmm. This fish is delicious. Right from the ocean. Delicious. We did it! We met our living off the land, or rather ocean, challenge. And then we spent the rest of the week enjoying a little more fishing. So fishing allowed us to practice mindfulness and just relaxing and enjoying our beautiful surroundings. It allowed us to be free. <laughs>